Okay, you guys, I am staying at the lovely Extended Stay America in Melpitas, California. A nice little break from uh, being at home with the workers drilling and pounding five hours a day for the past two months. So, yeah. This is my review of this hotel. Now, for those of you who don't know, this is a big, huge chain, okay? And I am actually very surprised at how filthy this one is. Okay, so of course I brought, I brought all my own food because I wasn't sure if they were going to have a restaurant or not. I have seen extended stay hotels that do. So just to be sure, I'm going to be here for what, most of the week, five days, four days. And yeah, brought all my own stuff. So since it's a nice day, I thought I'd make this video before the sun goes down. So let's just start with the bathroom. Okay. I don't like the noise. So <laughs> that's why I just leave the main light on. Okay, so first of all, we got that big gorgeous mirror. I like that. And of course, I like the nice size tub of which you can tell I took a bath last night. And what I did not like was the hair that was on here. You can see most of it is still pretty oh sorry okay uh, because the lights not going this way you can't really see the bits of hair and dust and yeah that can just stay right there I mean, yes it can because I do mostly I wash my face and brush my teeth in the little kitchen sink over there that's my dirty clothes now of course all of this was shoved over there in that corner but as you can see I don't know how long these cups have been here and even the cupboard I ain't using them you can see the hair here I think maybe there you go and what you can't really see is all the dust and dirt more hair from whatever more hair so, so much for getting away from cat hair for a while. There's hair here and dust and dirt all on here. So obviously I didn't use the tissue. The towels are still dirty. You know, there's still dirt on everything. So I have no clue when was, let's see if there's dirt there. Probably, yeah. That hotel guy on TV would have a field day with this place. You know? I mean, look, I didn't go number two or anything. And the toilet is dirty. The inside of the toilet water is dirty. Okay, so the towels, obviously, I have used. And I asked her when is housekeeping coming you know what she says since you're only going to be here for four days you don't get housekeeping yeah that's what she said so our first night here it took us four hours to get online and oh let me i'm sorry let me back up okay so I'm trying to go slow so you don't get dizzy. This outlet, oh, I'll just put it this way. All the, all the outlets in here, no, the only outlets in here are the ones with a lamp on, on, on them. Yeah, so it took, of course, everything is going down because I didn't charge up everything before I left the house. So only the, the lamps have workable plugs of course it took me a little while to figure that out see so even that one under there doesn't work because I pulled the table out 
so all my outlets could be closer so you know so the phone will be closer to oh now the lamp doesn't want to work to my hand and while I sit in bed and you know use the cell phone because it's what probably three feet closer than just having it there with the one that's from the lamp the plug that plugs into the lamp so okay we're walking in and we're looking at everything I set my bags down so all my stuff could be in order um, nice TV God, my TV is like this remember the one I got like three years ago from uh, Monica it's this size and I sure miss it because there's no place to put it in my 8 by 10 room anywho nice TV the remote doesn't really work but going up and down is something to do huh so I come over here nice little closet space that's cool and old-fashioned air conditioner I was surprised to see that because you know the nicer hotels just have it like at your house central air and heat right so I come and I'm, it's it's uh it was like 80 degrees in here when I came in it was sweltering and bringing up my bags and Papa's bags and anyway so I come to the window and I try to open the window did he close this <laughs> anyway <laughs> And finally, by the time you get the damn thing open, watch, it's probably going to, nope, see, it doesn't stay. I thought the purpose of having a window was for it to stay open, and they don't. I, neither one does. I do love this chair, though. I got to say that. Where is this? Oh. Yeah, that outlet, of course works only the outlets with a lamp on it work now this chair I do love this chair even though it's not fluffy like my old lazy boy I do love this chair the foot thing comes out so that's nice okay back to the heat so this heat is coming out right and I'm getting frustrated so I'm pushing and pushing and pushing Oops, sorry. I'm pushing all these damn buttons. Nothing works. So I just unplugged the bitch. I mean, it was 80 degrees in here, wouldn't you? So I'm looking. No, I didn't open the doors. I didn't want to touch them. Of course, you know, first I saged, right? Oh, and by the way, I do love that mirror. I love that mirror. It's huge, and I can see all my big self in it. Um, so I'm like, well, Tasha, you need to just sit down and be still just be still okay so you know I already unpacked my things in sections so I know exactly where everything is and I left all my stuff there besides my what three shirts I hung up so I wouldn't forget anything so I'm looking at the nice beautiful picture of I don't know it looks like a, a doorway but then it looks like one of those old-fashioned London phones and I'm like Okay, whatever. I don't know. It's pretty. It leads to something. So I like pictures that of doors and windows that you that lead to something else, you know? Anyway, so I'm looking at that and then I see Ooh, thermostat. So, oh my god. Between the the heat and not getting online for four hours, you know my mind was yeah. I yeah, so I had to be still. And then I had to go next door and help Papa with his internet. Because they were not willing to come up here and help us. I called the boy downstairs because now it's 11 o'clock. We went and had a nice dinner. And, um, you know, Marcy dropped us off. And <sighs> yeah, I had to have a woosaw moment. <laughs> And we got back here after we went to the store and got, you know, utensil, little plastic utensils and shit. About 8, 9, 10, 11. So it took three hours to get online. Sorry. And dealing with the heater 
and I'm like, oh, okay, so, you know, I'm playing with stuff and pushing buttons and shit. So finally got back down to 60, 59, 58. I'm like, gee whiz, do I have to stop it just to be comfortable? So then I'm figuring, and I finally got it right. That's why I'm not going to touch it right now. Okay, I'm <laughs> not touching it. So then you put it up to 90 to cool off, and you put it back down to uh, 69 to even out, and it went back down to 50. Oh my goodness. This was a huge, huge, thank you, Lord, blessing lesson for me, you know? It, it was, and I am thankful for it. I do love these chairs, by the way. I had to let my, chair, my towel dry. I don't know about the floors. I don't go barefoot because I've seen all the horrible things that are in hotels. Let's see if this works. I've never turned this on. Oh, the light works. Hallelujah. Can you imagine? Wow, now I can see my three blouses and the ironing board. I'm shocked. Okay, a little bit of dust. This is just amazing. But, I mean, however, comma, <laughs> one of my bosses, she'd always do that. However, comma, anyway, so I wanted to raise the window, but I'll go outside and get some good snapshots as these windows are filthy as hell and can't see too good through them but there's the mountain view for you love that and yes because all you know i'm a freak and i don't like closed windows i i don't like closed doors and i don't like clothes so i have my one little sheer dress on <laughs> and it's nice that i really i really have to say i do love the bed the linen is not like new see that I wasn't even eating in bed or nothing you see that yeah and that and all these other little tiny stains on the pillows and sheets you know I mean what is that I don't know so, yeah, I have to go scald myself and, and in a hot shower and get all the icky, creepy feelings off. But I did love the bed. I have to say, I loved the bed. It's nice being able to turn all the way over. Side, stomach, side, back. <laughs> you know, because my bed is next to a wall, so I don't get to, like, let my arms hang down the side and stuff like that. So, I do have to say, I love the nice, firm mattress. I do like that part. And I wish I could take that cute little table home, but I have no place to put it. <laughs> wow. So, yeah, as an overall rating for Embassy Suites, um, sorry, where am I? Extended Stay America... Melpitas, on a scale of 1 to 10, you get a minus 1. Primarily because I don't like being told you're not going to come upstairs to help me and my papa with the internet. You're not going to pick up my dirty towels. That's why you see them on the floor in there. Yes, they asked me if I could bring them down when I come that way. I am not paying you $150 a night and you want me to bring my own laundry shit down? Are you fucking crazy? Please, you have lost your mind. Nope, I am not paying you and then doing your job too. No, no, boo-boo. Oh, and, and the first night when I was trying to figure out the internet, it rang, the phone rang, I, honest to God, the phone rang for 15 minutes before the answering, okay, 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 uh, 11 minutes, okay, I always, you know, underestimate, so I'm not exaggerating, the phone rang for, okay, 10 minutes, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, uh, 5 minutes, 
So finally the answering service picked up. Oh, that's even a nice view. The answering service picks up the phone and takes a message. After 30 minutes, no one called me back. So I'm calling again. It's, it rang more than five times, so I just hung up and I called back. And I hung up and I called back three times. Finally, the little boy answers and, and tells me the, the, he gave Marcy one password, right? So we tried to figure out how to put that in. That didn't work. That's what took so long. So finally he says, oh no, you go here and you do this and you do this and the password is this. And I'm like, we don't have to type in her name or nothing? No. I said, well, I would like to shoot whoever said that because me and Papa are sitting here trying to figure out where to put her name and our uh, hotel room number. He says, oh, I'm sorry. Well, if you need anything else, I said, you could come up here and help Papa. Well, oh my gosh. This is no way to run a business, okay? No way. And you all know how I feel about business ethics. I do also, you know what I also like? I like that, where are you? I like that. I don't know how they have this bed situated in here, but even my big old fat ass, that's P-H-A-T, could sit in bed and lean up against the fake headboard and the bed did not eek and move out. That was nice. I, I did like that. I did like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, other than that, that's about all I like. Was, you know, those, what, three things. A nice view and a comfy chair. Beautiful day in California, thank God. Though it's chilly, I heard it's about 50 outside, 45. So it's chilly, not cold, cold, but chilly. And I have met some really nice people that live here, permanently live here. They do have a nice little breakfast stand thing, you know, with fruit, a basket of fruit, muffins, those little breakfast bar things. Coffee, 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 tea, well, hot water for tea. Oatmeal packets. That, that was really nice. I like that. And I had a cup of what Papa says is good coffee. So that was nice. That was nice. I like that. And other than that, I think I actually heard the maid outside vacuuming the hall. I was shocked. Well, because, you know, in some hotels, you know, the first floor, of course, gets the best treatment and so forth and so on. So I really didn't. I just thought since they're not going to pick up my dirty towels and knock on the door to replace them, that they don't come up here at all. So I was absolutely shocked to find out that um, she came up here at all. The other thing that I really hated Yes, I'm saying hate it, and I, you know I hate using that word. I don't know what time it is, because I think I went to bed about 6 o'clock this morning. Yes, my alarm clock that to wake up went off. Um, somebody came in. I don't know what she wanted. I don't remember, but I do know somebody came in, and she said something, and as she's leaving, she's like, do you want me to turn the light out? And I'm like, yes, please. And what else? She said, oh, it's so nice and warm in here. And I thought, what the hell would it be? Because last night it was like 30 outside. And I'm like, yeah, I, I like being cozy. And then she said something. What is that? Do you hear that? I don't know what that is. Anyway, until something blows up, I won't worry about it. And then after she left, I don't know what time that was, the fucking fire alarm went off. It scared the shit out of me, so I hope, I'm glad Papa can't hear without his hearing aids. Because, you know, I, he, that would have like given him a heart attack. Because it's so loud, it's that squelching 
you know, chirp noise going on for probably a full minute. So I'm pissed and my heartbeat is racing and I'm, you know, in bed, not sleeping anymore. And uh, so it finally goes off. I don't know how many minutes later, maybe, just, even so what, maybe two minutes later it comes on and then it goes off. Two minutes later, it comes on, and it goes off, and I'm like, fuck, do I have to call some? do I need to call the police, because this is ridiculous. So I'm thinking in my head, you know, this was a gift to me, and Papa. So, well, you know where I go, I had to take my Papa, he needs a break too. So, I'm like, you know, if I were paying for this, I would be really pissed and demand all my money back every penny okay minus sleeping fees so what is because i brought everything else myself so that's what oh 25 bucks a night there you go because this is really really ridiculous oh i didn't show you the other thing did i since i'm giving a review you may as well see this too what's that noise Oh, see, that's why I don't turn stuff on in the bathroom. I have enough drilling noise going on in my head. Where was it? Oh, shit, you probably can't see it. Let me try to, uh, let me do this. Hang on. We're going to get the cell phone. And we're going to go there. And we're going to go where? Where is the flashlight, guys? I forgot where the flashlight is. Hang on. There's a flashlight. Hope it's bright enough to see. Let me. You see? Toothpicks on the floor. Oh, can you see it? Wait, I gotta change the camera now so I can see what you're seeing. See it right there? Right there. Toothpicks on the floor. Little bits of, oops, sorry, where am I? Okay, there I am. Shit, all the way around. And you guys are probably thinking, see, dirt on the floor, because I don't drop dirt, I don't drop paper and you see I even moved um, the trash can which was under the little tiny cute sink here in the kitchen I do love these cupboards they, they are just so cute yes they're all empty so that trash can was under here because you gotta remember it's extended stay because people stay here like live here so that trash can was under there and I did move it over there to put all my little bits of wire and trash. <laughs> Cause you know, that shit is there on the floor. I don't have to be like somebody else, right? So that is my review of this hotel. And I'm, I'm sure some of this stuff, you know, here, there's even dirt there on the floor. Dirt, dirt, dirt. Okay, you might not call it dirt, but I call it dirt because anything on the floor that don't need to be on the floor is dirt to me. I love how nowadays they're making these tucked in bed topper things. I only got one blanket, one sheet, and the topper. That's it. Excuse me. I don't know why every time I get ready to make a video, I'm yawning. Sorry. And then I look at the view, and I go woosa, because that is a beautiful view. Oh, I'll zoom in closer so we we'll get all the junk. Oh well, can't get all the junk out, but I try. And most of that mountain right there is green, because we just had a nice hard rain uh, last week. So you know that part. I love that part. The trees are so beautiful. 
Anywho, that is my review. Tasha L. Harris with Tasha'sTouch.com and TheAngels.us. Heads up, you know, I'm not purposely trying to bitch at these people. I am trying to prevent other people like me who, who thought I was going to come here and have a grand old time and go downstairs and, you know, play cards. If there's no downstairs, nothing, no restaurant, cafe, vending machine, nothing. And it turned out to be just as challenging as living at home with all the drilling and re reconstruction work. So today I rested. I feel good. I gotta tell you, it feels good to it feels good to wake up feeling good. And I'm gonna sit here, make me and Papa something to eat. We're having Bertoli's something, and thank God I listened to uh, Marcy and brought a pan. So I can heat us up a nice hot meal. I got some croissants and some shortbread cookies. So you all go have a beautiful, beautiful day. I love you. And don't be afraid to be honest because other people really need to know. That's why I do these things. So you know not to come here and expect something more grand like I did. <laughs> you know and again that's that's not a bad thing it's a good thing because you work hard for your money you know you work very hard for your money so you should get exactly what you expect we all should all the time all the time so here's to you and your being good to yourself getting away even that's a really neat view of the other side of the hotel. Looking through the window, like Michael Jackson saying. That's neat. Wonder what they're doing. Anyway. Uh, we all should get what makes us happy. Especially when you pay money for it. You know? So, there you go. Have an awesome day. I love you guys. Do your research when you do things like this. Okay. Love you. Bye-bye.